everyone. You may have seen last year during the first Covid lockdown I made my car fly. I've also linked it up here in case you haven't seen that already. If you were particularly observant though, you'll have realised that I failed quite dreadfully in one very important aspect of making my car fly. What's that, Mrs Weasley? You could have died! You could have been seen! And so, in the words of Ron Weasley... The invisibility booster must be faulty! Yep, so in this video, I'm going to be adding a new invisibility booster to my car. Actually, it's my wife's car, so I did have to ask the boss, but she said it's okay. <laughs> so let's make my flying car invisible. And if you want to watch that, please click the like button right now. Consider smashing that subscribe button because it's coming up right after this. <laughs> Hi there, welcome back to Real World Magic where we make your life more magical. My name's Neil Trigger, I'm going to be your magical host, and in today's video we're going to be adding an invisibility booster to my car. Now before I get into it, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my awesome patrons and members. You guys are amazing, and if you'd like to be one of these awesome people who help me out so much, please check out the links down in the description. I also want to give a massive shout out to Chivalrous Tube, who bought me the Grigorovich and Grindelwald ones that I featured in my last upload. I did record me saying thanks very much and shouting him out, but for some reason I managed to edit it out. And it's probably because that day I was projectile vomiting in the morning and I felt like really crap. So I'm genuinely very, very sorry about that. I do really appreciate it. And I was kind of mortified when I realised that I cut that bit out. So thank you. Okay, so to make the invisibility booster, first we need to know how to make stuff invisible. Again, check out this video that I've linked just up there to find out more about invisibility. Next, if you're a muggle especially, we're going to need a Cricut cutting machine. And I know I did a video a couple of weeks ago about this awesome bit of kit, and it allows you to cut vinyl, foam, card, chipboard, wood, fabric, a whole host of stuff. But for today, we're just going to be making a very, very simple vinyl decal that's going to be added to this unused car button. It's not a car button. That's going to be added to this unused button on my car. It's using white permanent vinyl and it's pretty delicate so I need to be fairly careful but I am sure that I can do it and I'm very excited to give it a go. This button should make me grin each time I see it but it should also fit in with my car's aesthetic, the other controls and all of that sort of stuff so I'll need to design a fairly simple monogram or a cut file that will convey invisibility simply. If you want the file, by the way, I'm giving it away on Patreon and to members as well as to people subscribed to my mailing list. And I'm going to be putting it in the Magical Mystery Bundle as well. Now, I'm not sure if this has been announced yet. Probably not, because this is going to be announced when I hit 8,000 subscribers. I'm really not very far away from that right now. Um, because I do make these videos in advance, it's kind of hard to tell. But... Let's make the invisibility booster and add it to the car, shall we? So I started with the words invisibility booster in design space, and that's the software that comes with the Cricut Maker. However, the word invisibility is kind of long and kind of delicate, so I had to ditch that in the end and just draw a car. I drew a rectangle. That then was scaled to the size of the button, so I know roughly how big I've got to play with. I drew a rectangle, sent it to the back, and then I set the words to white. I then inserted an image of a car, and this one is free from Cricut, but it had a lump on the top because I think it's supposed to be a police car. So I drew another square, lined it up like this, and then used the slice feature just to get rid of that lump. Then I made another square, clicked on the padlock to unlock the dimension locking, and turned it into more of a stripe. I duplicated it a bunch of times, welded it into a single object, and adjusted the angle so it's diagonal, and then laid all of that over the car. I again adjusted the size and used slice again. I got rid of the sliced out bit and we're left with this car image which looks pretty cool and I made sure it doesn't have any really tiny or fiddly bits that's going to be hard to weed because this is going to be pretty small on the button. Next I cut it out of permanent white vinyl using the premium vinyl setting on my Cricut cutting machine and it's more pressure and then weeded it as normal. If you want to just make your life a little bit easier, you might want to do something called reverse weeding, which I'm not going to cover in this video, but just Google it. It's called reverse weeding, and it's probably going to be quite useful for this. 
Then I took some transfer tape and I burnished it down hard onto that vinyl. And this is medium tack tape and it's what I'd recommend for this particular project because you don't really want anything too grippy, especially for when you peel it off the plastic at the end. Once that's laid down, you head on over to the car, line it up and make sure it looks awesome and then burnish it down to the button quite hard again. Now, just very, 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 very slowly <laughs> peel off the transfer tape and you'll see all of the fruits of that hard work. And I think you'll agree it's really not too hard to do, but it does look pretty wicked. And now to try it out. I am also going to just say one more thing, and this is about a massive giveaway that I'm planning. As soon as I hit 8,000 subscribers, and I'm really not very far away from that now, I will be giving away tons of stuff. And I know I've been sort of teasing this out for a while, but I'm going to be doing it for 8,000. I'm not going to be doing it before. I'm going to be doing it as soon as I hit 8,000, or as close to that as I possibly can. And there is loads of stuff that I'm giving away. like really really loads of stuff so if you want to be in on that head on over to realworldmagic.net scroll all the way down to the bottom enter your email address in there you can also uh, look out for the video but if you don't want to do that you can also subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified of next time I go live or upload anything and I definitely will be doing a video I've actually recorded it already and I've even uploaded it already and it's ready to go as soon as I see the 8000 thing on my statistics I will make that video live. You will see it. It will be there. Um, if you don't want to take the chance, then subscribe to my mailing list. I can't actually remember the last time I sent anything out to anybody on my mailing list, but this is going to be big news and I definitely will send something out to everybody that's on my mailing list. You're all going to get this free giveaway completely for free. I'm not going to ask anything from you. So it's just really a way of saying thanks so much for your support and talking of which these wonderful people support me every month these are my members and my patrons and they are awesome uh, if you want to become one of these wonderful people head on down to the links in the description you can join this channel from only £1.99 a month you can head on over to patreon.com you can go to paypal.me forward slash real world magic where you can just buy me a one-off beer it is my birthday this is why i'm doing these things i'm just saying that just in case you feel generous uh, thanks very much though i really do appreciate you watching this video share it with your friends comment like subscribe ding that bell all of that sort of awesome stuff that all youtubers tell you but it does mean an awful lot to us to be honest if you comment down below as well that helps my stats and it doesn't cost you a penny but i will be back next time with some more magical awesomeness and until next time as always Please subscribe to Real World Magic. While you're there, click the bell button to be notified of future uploads and have a look at all of my social stuff. Remember to donate on Patreon if you really, really liked it. And I'll see you again next week.